right, we're going to downgrade a Zebra Android terminal from Android 11 to Android 10, show that full process. What I am showing now is um, a Zebra MC3330 XR. It currently has uh, Android 11. We have some apps uh, that can't run on Android 11 and our customer hasn't approved use of Android 11. So we're gonna go through this process of bringing it back down. So how do you check your unit to make sure what OS it currently has? Well, this is a brand new unit out of the box, kind of go through the initial setup. I haven't set up a Google account because I'm gonna erase it anyway. Um, and hit scroll down twice, you'll find the little cog wheel here. Then scroll up, about phone, scroll up a little further and you'll see Android 11 there. That's what I need to get rid of now. What we also have is uh, this unit is in a dock and I have a USB to ethernet uh, adapter in the back. So I have a LAN connection to this, uh, this unit. <clears throat> it's on the same network as my PC. Okay, so how do I set up the LAN connection? Well, same kind of thing. Scroll down twice, hit settings. Uh, at the top, you'll see network and internet. Just make sure the internet is on. And this is set up for DHCP. So uh, just to make sure that you know how that's done, you can check it there um, in terms of how it's set up. But uh, I'm, I'm good to go there as well. Now, what we'll need, coming back to the, the PC here, you're gonna need three files, actually two files. This is um, informational. This is your downgrade zip file, and this is a executable um, that needs to be downloaded and then installed on your PC. When it is installed, it's called Stage Now, it's from Zebra. Go ahead and run that. And when you install it, it will ask you what it wants, what you want for a password. So I just use admin just to keep it simple. So um, admin, admin for username and password. <clears throat> and when you start, you will see an all profiles section here. Oh. And I'm going to import a profile. And the file that I'm going to import is going to be that uh, downloaded zip file. That one actually, you know what? I have a folder that I put together here. It has all of my stuff in it. So there it is it's in this folder, that one. And don't uh, extract it, just use the zip file. Now say import. <clears throat> we'll take a little time to do this. Um, when it's done, it'll show up here as a profile that has successfully imported. And then you'll have to click on the link itself. Click here. And then it will bring up this page and you want to go down to the lower right corner here where it says complete profiles do that now uh, because this is a long command that's going to be sent down to the reader we want to use the pdf one here so click on stage now then hit test and you'll get a pdf file with a scannable barcode right so now we're going to return, <clears throat> let's keep that form up. I'm going to minimize that. We'll keep our, here's my camera again. I'm going to now click on my home button. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna scroll up instead, I'm sorry. So from your homepage, scroll up to get your list of apps and you're gonna be looking for the one that says stage N, right? Click on that. And barcode staging always on, that's correct. We're now gonna go ahead and take this unit out of the dock temporarily, just to be able to scan the thing on the screen. So I take it out, I'll scan this right off the screen. It beeps, put it back in the dock, right? So it's on the same network as the PC. 
and let's see if it actually now will continue this process of showing me a progress bar. There it is, progress, one, two, three percent. I'm going to go ahead and pause now, and I'll come back when this is almost done. Okay, I'm coming back here. It finishes at 99%, and this gets interesting. Um, if you have something else going on uh, stage-wise, you can do it now, but I'm just going to say done, so I'll say exit. and. <clears throat> It appears that nothing happened, right? It, it looks that way. But in reality, I think there is a background process. If I look here, see that? OS update is working now at 11%. So just let it do its thing. And then it's going to, I'll come back after a pause here as well, and we'll show that it should just go ahead and auto boot thereafter. But let this process happen on its own. Okay, we're back and uh, finished the process, and it is now going ahead and restarting. Um, and when it does come up, it should now show Android 10. But any kind of configuration, any apps that you have on the unit, everything will be gone. Uh, so you have to go through that initial process of reattaching a Google account if you want to use the Play Store, downloading your apps, um, configuring Ethernet or wireless, all of those settings will have to be redone. Uh, let's just wait till it boots here and then we'll check the uh, operating system level again just to make sure it did what it was supposed to do. And again, I haven't, I haven't done anything. It's just remaining in the dock the whole time. The, the reboot was done automatically. Uh, the power up here is, is happening all on its own. I'm not pressing any buttons at all. Okay. It does take a little bit longer, it looks like, right? Because it's, it's booting up this Android 10 operating system. So I'm seeing the splash screen come up more than once. And that's unusual. But Okay, and this is what I'm saying. It's it really is starting from scratch here, so you kind of are forced to go through this full process. It looks to me like it takes about ten minutes total to run the update and to have it download, install, reboot, and all of that. And then probably another ten minutes to go ahead and do um, Google account attachment setup, app pull down. So this is not a trivial process per reader. Probably, I'm going to guess, maybe up to half an hour um, to get it back to where you wanted it to be. But uh, it will be running Android 10 in the end. Hopefully, this will allow me to take a shortcut through this so I can just show you that it does actually work and bring it back to Android 10. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to get through most of this and just say the defaults. I'm not going to attach my Google account yet, but I at least wanted to show the screens that are required. Um, don't copy. Here we go. I'll say skip. Skip. And these are all settings that you will have to make at some point. I'm just trying to get through here and, and say, um, see if I can get back to the, um, the settings. There we go. All right. So again, same deal. Scroll down twice. Hit that. Go about phone. And Android 10. So that's... That's the process. Again, it's going to take about 10 minutes to do the full the full um, update, and then an additional 10 to 15 minutes to configure it for your app. 